Interested in health career? Hi, I'm Jan Mould. I'm one of the assistant directors for competitive events for hosts of future health professionals. It's my pleasure to talk with you this morning about the many different careers in a healthcare setting. There's plenty to choose from if you're interested. In fact, there are over 300 different professions in healthcare. The Occupational Outlook Handbook says that the expected growth for healthcare professions is 14% between the years 2018 and 28, 2028. That's a lot of jobs going to be available for folks. So we're going to look at the different pathways, which is a way that you divide up the careers. It's very helpful in helping you decide which may, way you may want to go. The five pathways we're going to discuss are therapeutic services, diagnostic services, health informatics, support services, and biotechnology. The therapeutic careers, the goal is to change health over time. Diagnostic careers look at state of health at a given point of time. Health informatics, in healthcare, if you don't document, it isn't done. So there's a lot of data. And health informatics is looking at how to use that data to improve patient care. Support services are those professions that help provide a therapeutic environment, which is what you and I expect when we enter a healthcare facility. Biotechnology research and development. Those innovators that are coming up with new tools, such as the search for a COVID-19 vaccine. Our friends at the National Consortium for Health Science Education provide a really great listing by pathways of the different careers. So for therapeutic careers, you have everything from an acupuncturist to a mortician, to a paramedic, to a physician assistant, to a vet. For diagnostics, audiologist, genetic counselor, MRI, MRI technologist, physical therapist, for health informatics, the admitting clerk, the health educator, the medical librarian, for support services, the biomedical clinical engineer and technician, the dietary manager, the environmental service facility manager, the interpreter. For biotechnology, the biochemist, the cell biologist, the medical editor, the microbiologist, the research scientist, the toxicologist, all are included in those careers. So how can HOSA help? One of the greatest resources you'll find is at HOSA.org. There's all kinds of information there, so I encourage you, if you haven't done so, to look at the website. But under competitive events, you'll see a lot of opportunity to explore those over 300 health careers. If you're a middle schooler, you may be interested in health career exploration, which is a written test. For all divisions, there is health career display, where you actually, with a partner, pick out a career, develop a board, do your research, develop your board, develop a presentation, and here's a sample of one that's been done in past years. If you're interested in a therapeutic career, pharmacy science may be a good fit, or physical therapy, sports medicine, nursing assisting, the list goes on. As you look at that list from the National Consortium for Health Science Education, look in reference to the guidelines and what you'd most be interested in participating. If you're interested in a diagnostic career, one of our events, Clinical Specialty, allows you to explore the options. You can interview 
somebody who's in the career. You look at what skills they do. You develop a skill checklist for one particular skill that you're interested in. So it's a great event for those that really just want to explore more. Health Informatics this year we have a new event, Health Informatics, which will be a written test. One of the things that we know is that there are a lot of job openings in this area. It's newer. More people need to be trained. Support services. Medical assisting may be a good fit if you're interested in this area. Biotechnology and research. Medical innovation gives you an opportunity to work with a team and come up with a prototype. And again, Here's another example of a competitive event submission that was done in past years. All of the pictures that you've seen are from our health career photography event where you actually take pictures. So if photography is something that you enjoy, here's an opportunity for you to basically photograph professionals at work. We really encourage you to unlock your potential, to discover what area is a good fit for you, and to pursue that through our competitive events experience. All of the information regarding the guidelines can be found at HOSA.org under Competitive Events Guidelines. Guidelines are released in September of each year so we encourage you to look and find the one that's right for you.